So I'm back from the shooting range and I'm going to do a quick safety check just to show you it's empty. It's empty. This gun performed very well at the shooting range. Only problems I had was my light mount, which obviously that's not the gun's fault, and the stock. As you can see, the stock cracked right here and right here. Uh, not a huge deal. It would be nice if Century Arms put a better wood or even maybe even a polymer on here. But I'm in luck because I ordered a stock and it's here today. So this is what I'm going to be replacing it with. This is one of those KVAR stocks with the place for a cleaning kit in the end. I'm going to have to do some modifications to this, but that's not a big deal. I bought one of their blemished models, so it has a little imperfection right here, but it's a blemished model. So, you know, obviously it's going to have those kinds of things. So I'm going to get this on the washer. I might have to do some modifications to this because I already tried putting the cleaning kit in and it didn't come out cleanly. So I'm going to have to do some filing or something in here. And then from there, I'm going to show you how it looks. So the gun's still safe. As you can see, there's no magazines in it. Nothing in the chamber, of course. I've changed the stock to the black caver stock. This here is a blemished model, as I said before. I had to do a little bit of modification to it. As you can see, it has the spot for the cleaning kit, and it does work just fine. It didn't start that way. I had to do a little bit of filing in there to make it work so that the cleaning kit could come in and out freely. But as you can see now, that works. I've also changed the upper handguard to the black Magpul one. I had to do a little bit of fitting, but that's done now. And I'm very happy with the way it looks now. I think it looks awesome. I think any stock that is really made specifically for the AK should have a place for a cleaning kit. It's just nice to have it there. You know, it's a it's easy for me now. It's, you know, hey, time to clean the gun. Where's the cleaning kit? Right there. Not having to go looking around for it. It's right there. And with me personally, when I was looking for a stock, if it didn't have the place for the cleaning kit, I wasn't even interested. That's the way I felt about it. I wanted the cleaning kit there. Another reason why I like having the cleaning kit in the stock is because of this. AKs have a cleaning rod right here, generally. Not all of them have it anymore, unfortunately, but generally they do have it. So this rod right here is for cleaning the barrel. And I always think it's funny to have the cleaning rod, but not have a place for your cleaning kit. And a lot of older guns had a place for the cleaning kit. Russian ones, obviously, you know, the AK, the SKS, uh, even the M16, from what I've understood, had a place in the stock for the cleaning kit. You'd be surprised at how tight this factory stock was on there. As you can see, there's some marks in the wood right there. And what that's from is when I was trying to get this off, it wasn't coming off. So I ended up taking a claw hammer, and I used the claw to swing, let it get a bite, and then pull it off. And that's how I got this stock off. It took three swings, but it did come off. So, one last upgrade I did. I changed the light mount, as you can see. This is the Magpul light mount. This is much better. Number one, it gives me more room to be able to reach right here. It gives a nice little area for your thumb to rest. And it still keeps the light in a good spot to use. The old light mount that I had restricted the amount of space I have, and I ended up having to grab it more like this. So this gives me more space. Of course, better for use with a gloved hand or, you know, whatever else. If you just don't want your hands cramped like I didn't, then this is a better solution than the other light mount that I had. I will still keep the old light mount, for use on something else, but this is much better. So that's pretty much it. I want to give a quick thank you to my buddy Mike. How's it going, Mike? Uh, who helped me make the decisions on this gun, you know, giving me some advice on what I may or may not want on the gun. Uh, I pretty much told him what I wanted, 
he gave me some advice when I told him some things that I may not want. He gave me some other advice, or if I showed him something I was thinking about getting, you know, he told me whether or not he thinks that's a good idea, and I really appreciate that. So, thanks again, Mike. Make sure to stay safe on the job, and I hope the family is doing well. And thanks for everyone for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.